Now, Chad, you've had a lot of su supporters that you've been seeing today, including former Governor Ed Schaefer. What did he make of this experience? That's right. We were inside for the event. Uh, Governor Schaefer, one of the few people who actually got to get up on stage before the president got to the arena and address the crowd. He was very excited. He said it was a great honor. He, in a lighthearted moment, he referred to himself as a recovering politician. <laughs> it didn't really sound like that, though, stumping for the Republican candidates on the ticket. And... You know, we talked about the energy of the crowd as well. It got very loud in there, very rowdy, and he said he just hopes that that carries over to the November election. Uh, you know, come September, come back to school time, uh, people will remember this. People will remember what this president said and what he wants to do and how we need to have allies for him. Schaefer mentioned allies for the president. We talked to a few in there. There were a lot of them to choose from. We met one man actually went to a President Trump rally in Duluth just earlier this week. Then he drove out here for this rally. Here's what he had to say. I asked, I was, uh, someone asked me earlier, they said, what does a Trump rally compare to in your life? And I used to be an uh, airborne ranger. Uh, I've been in combat. And I would say this ranks right up there. I mean, the energy level in here is intense. It's so much fun. I love it. So that wraps up a busy day out here for a lot of people, EMS, police, security, and, of course, all the people who came to see the president speak. It's kind of funny to be standing in an empty parking lot right now with <laughs> just a few hours ago it seemed like thousands of people were out here but uh, now they just got to worry about the cleanup Lauren I bet yeah huge turnout tonight for the president's